Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of September of 2021. Yeah, thank you all so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, the roles could be reversed as we could be talking to a cross watcher here. So just place things in there in your life as they fit. Don't try to force anything that doesn't naturally fit there. Yeah. All right, Libra, let's get into, oh, wait, oh, I'm sorry. But first, if you're interested in a private reading with me, I am available for that. All of the information is in the description box below. Also, if, you, uh, if you'd if you like to get some extra content during the month, go ahead and check me out over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. All the information for that, the link for that can be found in the description box below as well. Okay, let's get into your pre-shuffle here, Libra. Um, so it seems like you're in a place right now, Libra, where you're very much standing on your own. Independent energy is a very much a strong suit for you. Um, you're very much focused on being very independent right now. Um, you have the Nine of Pentacles as the overall energy at the bottom of the deck. Wow, Libra. I'm looking at the bottom of the deck here for you, and there is a lot of energy of you moving forward. And you may be moving forward in a way that's very secretive, like you're really not trying to tell your friends about it, you're really not trying to tell your family or your associates about it. Um, and what I'm also getting for you, Libra, is that you're not trying to tell anybody about it or you're not trying to be, you're not trying to discuss it because uh, quite frankly, it feels like it's not up for debate. It's not up for the debate. You are working on manifesting something. You have the magician here. And you're. it feels like you're willing to do whatever it is it takes in order to protect that manifestation or to make it happen. You have the magician with the queen of swords. And then you have the three of cups here. So this definitely feels like Libra. You're not even trying to hang out. You're not trying to be out with your friends. You're not trying to be social. You're not trying to be out there kiki and acting a fool with everybody. You're not trying to be part of the in crowd. You're not trying to be one of the kids. You're not trying to like. You're not trying to do that. And I don't. I don't. I, I don't mean any disrespect to anyone that is in that energy. And I don't feel like you mean any disrespect to anyone that's in that energy. It's just not for you right now, or at least it's not in alignment with what it is you're trying to manifest the magician, and thus with the Queen of Swords energy here, you're just like, look, the facts are the facts. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm specifically trying to work on something right now. I am literally, I am, I have a goal in place. I have a goal in mind. I'm trying to manifest something very specific and whatever energies you are bringing me here in this Three of Cups just ain't cutting it, are not in alignment with it. Actually, quite frankly, it's probably a hindrance. And you see, do you see how like plain and matter of fact and emotionless, emotionless I am about that? That's really the way it is. It's not out of animosity. It's not out of anger. It's not even out of fear. Anger or, or, or resentment or, or um, arrogance or like feeling like you're better than or no it's not even like that it's literally just the matter of i'm trying to manifest something and you are getting in the way of it and then the last card you have here is the knight of cups and the knight of cups came out face down so what that says to me libra is that um your heart is leading the way underneath the surface your heart is leading the way here and there's a little, and what I'm feeling here, there's an understanding of like the vulnerability that comes with this, but that's why your, your queen of swords energy is so strong. And quite frankly, Libra, this is you. This represents, officially, this represents you. The king represents Aquarius, the page and the knight represent Gemini. The queen represents Libra. And it really is that balanced matter of fact. It is what it is. It's not, we don't, there's nothing to be weighed here. We understand the weight of one thing over another. And this one thing that we're trying to manifest needs to take precedence. Oh, so then it, actually it would be this way. It needs, it's heavier, right? It takes precedence. So this, whatever this is, that's in opposition to whatever it is you're trying, trying to create, out. Go. You're in the way. 
You're fucking up my flow. <laughs> okay, Libra. All right, cool. So let's get into the rest of your reading then. Let's see what else we have for you this month. Um, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising sign for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you for this time period. So, Libra, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. And we'll see what other messages we have for you for the month, yeah? This is one. For my Librans, sun, moon, and rising, this is two for the month of September. Oops, September 2021. This is three. This is four for my Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. And this is five. Cut the deck here. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Libra. We're starting you off with the Emperor. And this makes perfect sense, Libra, because the Emperor is a protective energy. Okay. The Emperor sets the boundaries for which or within which the subjects or the people of the domain or the empire, what, what blah, blah, what not, whatever, that, that they live within. And these are protective boundaries. And that's very similar to the Queen of Swords energy that I was picking up or that, that we talked about that came out in your pre-shuffle, the emperor here. Okay, having made an, an executive decision or moving forward in a certain way with power, with understanding, with vigor. In, in some cases, being a di disciplinarian, yes, but I don't feel like you're being much. I, I feel like this is a disciplinarian type energy when it comes to the outside world. So I feel like the emperor is the, ma is the, the face that you're wearing to the outside world right now. And I don't feel like you're being too harsh. You're just setting a strong boundary. Underneath the emperor is the world. And what I'm getting with this Libra is that you're setting this strong boundary because you are working your way towards a massive ending of a... Why well, I'm hearing a massive ending of a collective or societal structure. So Libra, you could be on the precipice of, of like creating something brand new or blazing a brand new trail that ultimately, collectively speaking, a ton of followers are going to be following you eventually. But this is you getting through that preliminary process of blazing that trail to begin with. Which makes sense, Libra. You're a, you're a, you're, you are a cardinal sign anyway. But what I'm hearing for this, Libra, is there's some sort of collective or societal structure or value that is coming to a close. And you are leading the way out of this. Interesting. All right. Underneath the world here is the Eight of Wands. Whoa. And then underneath the Eight of Wands is the Ten of Cups. There's that collective structure we were talking about. The collective energy, the Ten of Cups represents, obviously, yes, it represents your own personal, uh, ultimate emotional fulfillment and all that stuff. But um, the Ten of Cups can also represent collective energies. Wow. Whoa, Libra, this is really cool. Okay, let's get into the rest of your reading here. First half, second half, yes? First half of your reading is going to look at the, um, the, the, the current energy off into the future. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The past energy up until the current situation. And then the second half of your reading is going to look at the current energy off into the future. Yes? Excellent. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading, you have the Two of Swords. Um, you know, Libra, what this is saying, what this Two of Swords is saying to me is in the past, 
you were in an energy of I don't I don't want to focus on this any longer. There is something about something in your external reality that you just were like abhorrent to. Like you were or it seemed abhorrent to you. That's better. Um, there was something that you literally were not trying to focus on, not trying to look at, not trying to see. Yes, denial. But I don't think this is bad denial. I think this is denial of what was intoxicating the collective. You refused to pay attention to that. You refused to focus on that. In some cases, that made you a little bit of an outcast. Because I'm feeling there, are, there, are, uh, there could have been some energies around you. Like, why can't you just like, why can't you just like do whatever it is we're doing? Why can't you just be here on our level with us? Why do you have to fight against this? Like, why do you have to be such a trailblazer? Why do you have to be such a like a rebel? Mm -hmm. And you know what's funny? With already with how this energy is moving forward, I already feel like Libra. It's like, yeah, all them people were trying to tell you you were crazy or why can't you just follow? Why can't you just fall in line? Why can't you just follow suit? And now here you are standing in your power, in your glory, being this trailblazer, leading the way for a ton of other people and looking back at these people that used to like, you know what I mean? Two swords is coupled with the four of swords. Exactly. Exactly. See, this is why, yes, this was a denial energy, Libra. But this was a type of denial that came from a state of solid mental grounding, is what I just heard. Instead of getting caught up with it, you said, no, 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 I'm not going to get sucked into that. I am not going to get sucked into that. Beautiful. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra. In the first half of your reading, you have the King of Wands. Yet another energy of trailblazing. Even though the King of Wands is a fixed, it represents fixed energies, like Leo. Or, in your case, in the air signs, Aquarius. Um, oh. Whatever. Uh, even though the King of Wands is a fixed sign... He's still a trailblazer in the sense that he's not going to let anybody tell him what he can or cannot do, what he should or should not do, what he do what he needs to or doesn't need to go after. Right? This is you standing, like, especially when we're talking about the past energy, this is you, like, standing your ground, regardless as to what the naysayers have said. The King of Wands is coupled with the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, see, Libra, you have been bound and determined to start something new, to create an, a new reality, to, tra to blaze a trail for yourself, to carve out your own pocket, your own niche, I guess we could say. Bound and determined. What I'm getting from this King of Wands and the Page of Pentacles is that you are not going to tell me what I can or cannot do. You are not going to tell me what I can or cannot create. If I can, if I can think of it, then I can manifest it and I'm going to manifest it. That is excellent. Your challenge here, Libra, in the first half of your reading is the King of Swords. Okay. Okay, so um, what I feel like here, Libra, is in the past, your challenge has been coming to terms with things, understanding things, okay? Being in an objective energy, taking into account everything that is a part of this situation, all the information, all the details, whatnot, whatever, accepting that. And then allowing yourself to make a decision from there. But also what I'm getting with the challenge has been for you, Libra, is to keep an open mind. To actually be in a place where you're like, okay, yes, I know I'm confident in myself or I know I'm, I'm, I'm standing my ground and being confident in my vision. But I'm also allowing myself to be open to the possibilities, to be open to maybe there's some, maybe there is a way that I can be 
I can keep up with the status quo, whatnot, whatever. Like you were, op you were at least open and objective. That was your challenge, Libra. And I do feel like you want, I, I feel like I want to say you passed that with flying colors. Because I still feel like there is an element here or an energy of you recognizing that you needed to not join the crowd. Even though there may have been some good and valid arguments for joining the crowd, King of Swords. And even though you may have been open enough to entertain them, entertain those reasons as to why you maybe might want to join the crowd. And yet I don't, I feel like you're still trailblazing. You're still moving in your own direction here, okay? King of Swords is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. What the, the Four of Pentacles here, Libra, is representing what it is you were trying to manifest that you're holding on to so diligently. And I'm kind of, what I'm getting here, Libra, is that the Four of Pentacles represents this new thing, this trailblazing endeavor. And the King of Swords represents that energy that steps up to channel, channel, challenge it. And challenges it from a, from a logical point of view, from an objective point of view. It's almost as if there was something that was testing your resolve or testing the foundation with the Four of Pentacles. Because yes, the Four of Pentacles can represent like a hoarding type of energy or like a situation in which um, you're needing to let go of something, right? But the Four of Pentacles being a four can also represent a foundation. And what I'm getting here in the challenge for you, Libra, is there was a time period in the past in which the foundation of the new that you're trying to create was questioned or challenged. And what I'm hearing is you came through it or you passed with flying colors. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the first half of your reading is the Ace of Swords. Understanding, truth, clarity, victory. Coming out on top. Victory. Like I'm literally seeing you rise from the battle of this challenge of whatever it is you're, you're trying to create or whatever direction you're moving in. I see you coming out of that having been victorious. Ace of Swords. And it seems that whatever direction that you're moving in or whatever idea you have or whatever inspiration you're moving forward with is one of notability. Like it has one out here. Ace of Swords is coupled with the Ten of Wands. Cut through all the burden, cut through all the baggage, cut through all of the whatever, the, the every, anything that would hold you down. It's like what I'm getting with this Ten of Wands energy and the Ace of Swords in the past. Whatever this is that you're manifesting for yourself, Libra, it's like every obstacle that you could find or you could come up against, you came up against. And yet the truth of your reality just sliced through everything consistently and consistently came out on top somehow. It has overcome all, I'm, I'm literally getting like a doggy pile. Ten of Wands with this Ten of Wands energy. A doggy pile of just burden and strife and delays and whatnot, whatever, that you kept slicing through. I love that, Libra. Let's move forward here. So getting into... Getting into the second half of your reading, yes? Yes. Uh, looking at the current energy off into the future. First set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, you have the Fool. There you go. There's the Fool again. So now this is you literally taking a leap of faith into the next direction, moving forward here. Or we could say it as starting the next cycle, starting that cycle. Whereas in the overall energy, you have the world here where a cycle was coming to a close. There was a completion happening. Now moving into the second half of your reading. So up in the current energy, off into the future, you have the fool. 
So now you're going from completing that cycle to starting a new and create and starting the new cycle, ending the old and starting the new, the fool. The fool is coupled with the seven of cups. What I'm getting with this Libra is the seven of cups are, is it, it, the, the possibilities. This is a fresh start. This is a fresh idea. This is a fresh reality. This is a fresh cycle that you're stepping into. And the seven of cups represents the wonders, the excitement of all that could potentially happen. It also contains the fears and the anxieties and the what ifs of all that could potentially go wrong. But this is just an element of being in the next phase, starting the next cycle, stepping into that next cycle for yourself, which is brand new. Anything could happen. Okay. <clears throat> second set of surrounding energies for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, you have the Ace of Wands. Inspiration to move forward. I like that. The Ace of Wands is coupled with ooh, the devil. Interesting, Libra, I don't normally do this, but when I went to go pull the Ace of Wands, two cards wanted to come out, and that happens every once in a while, but normally I just pull them one-on-one. -on -one. What I'm feeling like I need to do here is take the Ace of Wands and the Devil together and then pull another card. But then that would throw off the rest of the reading here. Ace of Wands with the Devil... Yeah, I'm going to pull another card. The Eight of Cups. So interesting, Libra. I never do this, but now what I'm seeing is I need to pull another card for that Eight of Cups. So we're going to do that. The Moon. Ace of Wands and the Devil to the Moon and the Eight of Cups. Please bear with me, Libra, because I'm trying to understand what this means. Because technically, the Eight of Cups and the Moon would have been in your challenge here. And I'm trying to figure out what works better. How does this, how does this actually work? Okay, I get it. So the Ace of Wands and the Devil are the second, the surrounding, the second half or the second set of surrounding energies for you. Okay. In the second half of your reading. And the Ace of Wands and the Devil represents the Ace of Wands is the movement forward, the new direction. But remember, Libra, that you are in a very beginning phases of this next cycle. And so the devil here is coming forward trying to get you to trying to get you off your path. Fear anxiety, codependency. It could be a level of that, um, the uh, collective energy that we were talking about here, right? What I'm getting with this, Libra, is that you are, again, you're trailblazing. And it's this devil energy that's coming through trying to keep you aligned with the old. Whatever it is you seem to be trailblazing or creating, Libra, there is a lot of resistance not coming from you, but coming from externally, coming from the collective. But that's because the resistance is coming from the entities that have got their claws in those who are still an active party in the old situation that you are choosing not to be an active party of or with. In. In. So what I'm feeling here, Libra, is this devil energy is coming through trying to keep its foothold as you are moving forward with this Ace of Wands, this inspiration, this new reality, this trailblazing situation you're going through, okay? And now that's connected 
to the next two cards, which are in fact your challenge. In your challenge, uh, the second half of your reading is the Eight of Cups to the Moon. Your challenge here moving forward, Libra, is that you need to walk away from the status quo. You need to walk away from the same way things have been done over and over and over again. But in you walking away from that, you're walking into the unknown. And that's where the devil almost has an advantage, and yet it doesn't. It thinks it has an advantage. Normally, it would have an advantage. Or at least the, devil, the devilish energy or the, the low vibrational, dark, toxic energy is trying to play on that. Because it knows that you are moving into an unknown space. And if they can continue to manipulate, maybe they can throw you off the scent or throw you off their path or throw you off your path. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Libra, in the second half of your reading, there's the Eight of Swords. Interesting, because the Eight of Swords came out for... Gemini. A lot of a lot of the similar cards came out for Gemini. Or for both of you. Uh, Eight of Swords is coupled with the High Priestess. This is really interesting, Libra. Because this almost feels like the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess feels like your hands are tied. I almost want to say it's like you have no choice, Libra, but to follow through with whatever it is you're doing. Your hands are tied in the matter. And what I mean by that is whatever the universe is guiding you towards, is leading you towards, there is an element here of like, I really, like, there's no other way to go about this other than how the universe is guiding me. And I think this is def. I, I also feel like this is connected or related to this Eight of Cups, the moon energy, where like you have to move forward. Okay, but you're moving forward in a bit of like into an unknown element. And there's nothing you can do about that. I mean, that's the nature of trailblazing, right? So that's kind of what I'm seeing here with the High Priestess and the Eight of Swords. But then I'm also seeing the opposite. I'm seeing that in relation to whatever it is you're trailblazing here, Libra, however it is you're trailblazing, I feel like the Eight of Swords energy is representing that which the devil energy is fighting for. Keeping people in a state or a place or a mental space where it's like, well, no, you can't, you can't do anything. There is no other option. You have no choice. There's no option other than this. But that's not true, says the High Priestess. Because I'm also getting an, an energy or a level of if you follow through with your intuition or if you follow what the high priestess is leading you towards, is instructing of you right now, it will liberate you. And not only will it liberate you, but it will liberate a ton of others also. Okay. Very interesting, Libra. Let's get your closing oracle guidance here. Um, and I want to get that from the Lightworker Oracle for you since you seem to be trailblazing here. Let's get it from the light work of Oracle. Okay. Five shuffles. One. Two. For my Libras. Closing Oracle Guidance. Holy Spirit. This is three. This is four, and this is five. All right. 
Cool. Libra. Closing Oracle guidance here, please. Spirit for my Libras. There it is. Right Dirt. Card number 33. Ooh, Master Healing. So this is definitely, uh, this is trailblazing on behalf of or on in tandem with the Ascended Masters. Like this is, the, the, whatever it is, see, and this would be why the devil would be fighting back so hard for against it. Because you are allow you're providing people with a way to heal instead of just keep staying caught up with these toxic karmic energies. No wonder the devil is at you, is 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 chomping at the bit or is like nipping at your 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 um your ankles or whatnot, trying to get you to stop moving, just trying to get you to stop doing whatever it is you're doing, trying to get you back into that fear element. And it's that fear element that keeps people in whatever state it is you're trying to lead them out of. Whoops. Okay. Uh, 33, Master Healing. As you meditate, remain true to what inspires your heart and commit to your spiritual path. You become an increasingly powerful healer. You are here to live your own life to be true to what genuinely moves you. The unconditionally loving guide and ascended master, Serapis Bay, comes to you now with a blessing of master healing to further your success on your path. The master Serapis Bay is a beloved guide for those who feel a strong soul connection to ancient Egypt for healers who are developing their own modalities and those who love to work with high frequency concepts. He also assists with the translation of spiritual inspiration into practical worldly plans. He comes to confirm that the ascended masters are aware of you. You are, in, you are an integral part of a powerful spiritual team that has taken physical incarnation to help awaken consciousness into love. You are asked to tune into your heart. What do you love enough to overcome any obstacle to attain it? What motivates and inspires you? Not what seems possible or practical, but what is authentic? We are most powerful when we serve authentically from the heart. A bird might learn how to dive underwater from time to time, but it is never going to be at its most powerful if it has to live underwater, it would struggle to thrive if it were to, if it were to, if it were to force itself into such unnatural expressions of its life energy. The bird yearns to fly because that is its divine nature and purpose. You too have divine nature and purpose and your heart holds the clue. What feels most like you? Okay. I want to read this last part for you. If you have a dream in your heart, know that it has been placed there for divine purpose. What you dream and desire contains the seed of divinity. It is meant to help attract your life mission and fulfill it with love, joy, creativity, and pleasure. If you are willing to go through what is necessary for an outcome, it will happen for us. If we are willing, it will happen for us. The details may appear different from what we imagined they would, but the truth remains. If you ask for something and are willing to go through the process required to have that come to life, it will happen for you. The universe is that generous, unconditionally supportive and loving of you. It is your creative partner. It will provide you with all that you need to manifest your dreams, desires, and destiny. Excellent, Libra. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so much. I hope you have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of October. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye. <laughs>